Hey, Dom, Bitwig. Hey, Nick, Sonic said. <laughs> last year, there was no Bitwig out. Now there is. That's right. Last year, it wasn't even out. We released in March, March 26th, so it's not even a year old. And interesting what happened in that time. So we released the 1.0. We did 15 bug fix updates before we released 1.1, so really pressing forward, jumping at every bug we found or that got reported. And then we released 1.1. What was in 1.1? 1.1 included VST multi-out that was missing in uh, 1.0. Uh, in 1.1, what else was in there? We introduced the audio receiver, a little device that you can put into a device chain and receive audio from just anywhere on the project. The same with the note receiver. It's a little device you can put anywhere you want in the project and receive notes from anywhere. So those were the big things in 1.1. Then we did bug fixing again, and now we are currently working on 1.2. So again, new features, always, as we like to say, free updates, mind-blowing free updates. So, you gonna show us what they are? Yeah, we have a very early version already here, so this is more the alpha of 1.2. Of the big things are group tracks and our now new edition browser. So, maybe we start with group tracks. We already have a group here, and what's nice about it, if you unfold it, you can see the content, the clips that are in the group track. If you close it, you can see what we call meta clips. This is actually a small representation of what is in the groups, and you can actually even edit those without oh, unfolding it. So this is really a nice way to keep your project tidy, to group things like drums, vocals, whatever. And yeah, still we're still fine-tuning it a bit, but it, it already works and it, it's a great tool. Next new thing is the Audition browser. Every device now contains its own big browser. You can hit the Audition button, and now you can see in those columns that you can narrow down what you actually want to hear. You can have categories, you can have the creators, and you can have tags. On the left side, you can select the instruments, and if you click on a preset, you can see that the device directly changes. You can do that while playing it, and if you have found the right sound, you just press OK, and boom, there you go. Or you just cancel it if you don't like it. So, so is there like an edit? It's like an edit buffer that you load something into to preview it. And then, is that what? Is it like having an edit edit buffer where you load something into it and then you commit it to the device? Right? Yes, yes, yes. And then in, in real time while playing it. This is not only available for the presets and devices. You can even hot swap just the waveform within the sampler. So you have our drum machine with sample devices in there, and then you're looking for the right kick, the right snare, whatever. You just advance through the list, and it replaces the waveform within the device. So a great way, like, like you know from, from machine, where you just go through the samples to populate the pads. Great way to work, and a great time saver. Besides that, we will have a little sound content update with a few new sample partners, more presets for our devices, and this will all be part of 1.2, free update again. Any more devices? Um, no devices. No, not in 1.2. Okay, and when, when are you hoping to have this out? We're currently working on it, fine-tuning it. We think we will uh, put the beta out end of February, and then we will beta test, I don't know, a month, maybe two, until we are satisfied and then it will be out. Thank you very much. Hey, always welcome.